This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today's subject is going to be community. And I really got a strong, I just woke up this morning and that word came right to my mind. And I haven't really been putting a whole lot of effort into thinking of what my subject for the day is going to be lately. Just been kind of letting it kind of flow as it comes. So, when I got that this morning, I was like, oh, this is definitely what I'm going to talk about. I'm not sure the reason for it, necessarily. But what I have found for myself about community the importance of it is to really show me that I'm truly connected with everyone that's what community is for me and I know for a long time I've looked for communities to belong to, which I would say is was more of me looking for a tribe rather than just a community. The reason I say that is because it's a part of me that is looking for somebody who saw the world the way that I did. When I found said that that's an impossible goal to to reach, there's going to be always somebody within a community that doesn't quite think the way that I do, and I will never find. A community if I set that as my goal. But what I have found is, is we are all truly connected. That it doesn't matter what community we belong to, there's always going to be the opportunity to find out how connected we all are. And it could be something as simple as I just tuned in to a, a daily radio show, a call-in radio show of a community that I was a part of for quite a few years. Actually, Uh, it's it wasn't a community that over the phone only I also met weekly in a group that was part of this community and eventually that community kind of dissolved and people went their own directions and, and I lost connection with that community and my mind was telling me things like, well, maybe, maybe they really weren't where I'm at. But 
when I tuned in yesterday, something really cool happened. The subjects that they were talking about were things that were going on in my life right now. And it was almost like they were talking specifically to me, but they weren't. They were having a conversation over the phone. And those are the kinds of things that when you're around other people, if you can become aware of, you begin to realize how connected we all are and how everybody is supporting you, supporting me. It's the nature of who we are. But when I'm identified with what I believe as being who I am, because everybody has their own very, very unique belief systems, even if you belong to the same political tribe or religious tribe, you're still going to find that there's not quite, there's not somebody who quite thinks the way that you do about a particular subject. So today I'm painting something that I saw in our farm lane kind of approaching us in a much much different way than a very I guess I got caught up in the topic now I'm going to just pay attention to what I'm doing with the painting see if I can get some stuff happening here loosen the painting up a bit see what see what can come about with this so I was walking back to our back in our farm lane and I think it was must have been sometime in the winter or very early spring looks to me like the this, this is a while ago so I don't really remember it's a photograph that I have that I took of that day and what I saw was this turkey roosting in a crab apple tree. So it was really low to the ground. And it was all by itself. And I at first thought it was, you know, maybe a vulture. I got I got really close to it. And it didn't do anything. It didn't fly away or anything. So it was just really, really wild experience <clears throat> no pun intended I guess I thought this photo is a good photo for today's topic so I gave my little speech about community there And sometimes I go into maybe a preaching mode, even though it's not really what I want for this painting spirit to be about. Even though I'm the host of the show, I don't really necessarily feel like I'm an authority on the subjects I choose. I'm just choosing them to talk about them because they're important to me at the moment. I think that they might resonate with somebody else, too. So, 
So this turkey roosting in the tree you get up close to it and you see all these warts on it and it's quite a homely creature at first sight I tried doing this painting of this turkey a while ago Never finished it. Let's see what happens today. But it was a weird experience because I'm used to seeing turkeys together. A brood? Is that what it's called? A brood of turkeys? I don't know. And a little roost in the tree together. Scared my son and I one evening, winter evening, we walked out to the woods across the field with snowflakes falling down and it was very quiet out and we entered the woods and as soon as we entered the woods, and this was night time, but you know, we could see because of the snow glowing, but once you enter the woods it gets dark and as soon as we entered, there was this whoo, huge, just fluttering, like a loud fluttering of wings. And it was obviously a bunch of turkey roosting in the trees that got startled and flew off, but it scared the heck out of us. <laughs> it was so loud. Anyway, seeing this turkey all by itself... There's a lot of emotions going on now, and I'm going to guess, it's been true for me anyway, that I've been feeling a lot, a lot, a lot of intense emotions. When I'm in that place, the last thing I want to do is be around other people. I feel a little bit like this turkey roosting by itself in this crab apple tree. Maybe I should throw in a few crab apples here. And the last thing when I'm feeling ugly. I want to do is be around other people. Sometimes that might actually be the thing to lift me out of the place that I'm at. So I thought this turkey was a an appropriate subject for today. I wanted to, to try my hand at another wildlife painting. Maybe I'm getting a little too detailed, too caught up in the conversation today to really pull it off. But one of the things I noticed especially because I was able to get so close to this turkey. I'll take these photos, how beautiful they really are. Their wings, the colors. Sometimes there are, there is beauty. We can get past the ugliness of the emotions that we're feeling. On the other side, there's Sometimes amazing beauty to be seen, experienced. Let's get the eyeball in there. Let's see if that brings anything out with this. Well, if you're able to, 
reach out to community that can help support you in whatever way. You might want support. I'm going to do the same for myself and get out your brushes, see what you can do with your creativity, and have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.